Hello friends, welcome to Expert Medical Coding. In today's video, we're going to learn about IC10 CMPCS updates 2024 second quarter part one. In this video, we're going to cover three coding clinics, and they are how to code asthma with COPD, and how to code emphysema, bronchiectasis, and COPD, and how to code COPD, pneumonia, and bronchiectasis. So let's get started with the first one, asthma with COPD. And the question here is, what are the appropriate code assignments for asthma in a patient with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease? The alphabetical index and tabular list appear to conflict in code assignment. When referencing asthma with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, in the index code J44.89, that is other specified chronic obstructive pulmonary disease is provided. So as you can see here, if you're searching with the main term asthma with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, it's leading to code J44.89. However, when referencing disease lung obstructive chronic with asthma, code J44.9, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease unspecified is listed. So as you can see here, if you're searching with the main term disease lung obstructive chronic with asthma, it's leading to code J44.9. Now the question here is, should a separate code be reported to identify asthma in COPD patients? And the answer is, we have to assign code J44.89, that is other specified chronic obstructive pulmonary disease for a patient with asthma and COPD. A separate code for asthma should not be assigned unless the type of asthma is specified or the asthma is exacerbated. Now moving towards the next coding clinic, emphysema, bronchiectasis, and COPD. And the question here is, in previous issues of coding clinic fourth quarter 2017 and first quarter 2019, it was advised to report only code J43.9, that is emphysema unspecified, for a patient with both chronic obstructive pulmonary disease and emphysema, because emphysema is a specific form of COPD. This coding clinic advice further stated that it was not appropriate to report codes from both categories J43 emphysema and J44 other chronic obstructive pulmonary disease because of the excludes one nodes at both categories. Effective with the October 1st, 2023 updates, the excludes one nodes found at categories J43 and J44 was changed to excludes two nodes, which now appears to allow the reporting of codes from both categories when appropriate. However, when referencing disease, lung, obstructive chronic with emphysema, only code J43.9 is provided. So the question here is, do these exclude node changes allow the reporting of COPD separately in a patient with emphysema? Please clarify the proper code assignment for COPD in a patient with emphysema. And the answer here is, assign only code J43.9 emphysema unspecified for a patient with COPD and emphysema. No additional code for COPD is assigned unless it is further specified, that is, with infection or with acute exacerbation. As stated in previous coding clinic guidance, emphysema is a form of COPD. Therefore, it is not appropriate to assign code J44.9, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease unspecified, in addition to code J43.9. Code J43.9 can be referenced in the alphabetical index as follows. Go to the main term with disease, under that subterm lung, obstructive chronic, with emphysema, it will lead you to the code of J43.9. Now moving toward the next coding clinic, COPD, pneumonia and bronchiectasis. And the question here is, a 67 year old patient who presented to the emergency department with chest pain was admitted due to bilateral pneumonia, COPD exacerbation, acute respiratory failure and sepsis. The patient's respiratory conditions worsened overnight and the patient expired the following day. The provider documented bilateral pneumonia secondary to severe COPD with chronic bronchiectasis as a secondary diagnosis. When referencing disease, lung, obstructive chronic with bronchiectasis in the alphabetical index, only code J47.9, bronchiectasis uncomplicated is provided. So as you can see in the index, under disease, lung, obstructive chronic with bronchiectasis, only code J47.9 is provided. However, the extrudes to note at category J44, other chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, lists bronchiectasis, which indicates that both conditions may be reported when appropriate. So as you can see here, under code J44, there's an exclude to note bronchiectasis J47 category. 
So the question here is, is it appropriate to report codes for COPD and bronchiectasis when both conditions meet reporting requirements? What is the appropriate code assignment for COPD exacerbation with pneumonia in a patient with chronic bronchiectasis? So the answer here is, it would be appropriate to report codes J44.0 for chronic obstructive pulmonary disease with lower respiratory infection and J44.1 for chronic obstructive pulmonary disease with exacerbation and J47.9 for bronchiectasis uncomplicated for COPD exacerbation with pneumonia and chronic bronchiectasis. Additional codes to specify the pneumonia, acute respiratory failure and sepsis should also be reported. The extrudes to note at category J44 supports the reporting of codes from both categories J44 and J47 together when the conditions meet reporting requirements. Please note however that when the COPD is not further specified, in a patient with bronchiectasis, only the bronchiectasis is reported. Please like, share and subscribe to Expert Medical Coding. Thanks for watching.